we have here an excavator 330 CL but this one is with an attachment a breaker attachment there is a, there is a, there is a problem with the tracking system it has low power in tracking for instance there's no steering so I'm going to troubleshoot and forgive me it channel up to OEM specification but that's why I'm in here to correct things and me having the idea I'll try to explain further into detail so that you get the scenario or the picture of all right so the active code was displaying hydraulic pressure sensor voltage above normal and the hydraulic pressure sensor voltage above normal we have two sensors over here and this this is the the whole hydraulic pump this is the whole hydraulic pump and these are the two sensors which are the hydraulic pressure sensors but these two sensors have we have one and two the pump we have here there are two sections we have the drive the drive section and the idle idler section one is taking direct drive from the engine and the other one too is an idler which is taking a drive from the direct drive so uh, in all our in conclusion i'll try to make it simple let me say this is the pump one section this is the upper structure is the pump one section and the lower section is the pump two section so that you can get the clear picture of what i mean so the hydraulic pressure sensor this is the discharge discharge pressure sensor when i say discharge it means the outlet of the pump you know the pump just creates the flow and there is a restriction created over there and that will be on another episode so this is a discharge so the flow that is created the, the resistance that will be created will be the pressure so the pressure that will be generated within that point and to that relief valve this is the sensor which will indicate it and will send a signal to the ECM that is the engine and pump controlling modular that is the ECM that is the engine control modular but with this one is going to the engine and pump controller ECM yeah so these are discharge pressure sensors these are the two and on our active coach was displaying both of the two are having current above normal current above normal doesn't mean the current or the voltage coming to the sensor is over voltage or something like that no the ECM works with principles and these principles are based on the harness connections to the sensors or harness connections to solenoid or the specification made by the OEM to a specific spec so if they are not getting that specific uh, specs within their range and it will generate a code a fault code it will generate as a fault to a fault code so as a technician or engineer you have to trace to know the actual problem of the machine and for the from the look of the harness i'm seeing over here there are so modifications which have been done over here there are so many shoddy works which have been done that's why i'm in here to correct all these errors this is the main harness this is the main harness coming from the ecm and they are all six harness in all two is coming to the power shift now i'm not talking about that we are talking about the discharge pressure sensors or the hydraulic pressure sensors so six wires in all three here three here and as as i as i as i said we have six coming from the main from the ecm as it's coming from the main from the ECM, it comes and meets at a junction, and that junction is dividing both the battery supply and the ground. That's the earth wire and the battery wire. It's dividing them into two sections: one for the upper structure sensor and one for the number two sensor. Let me say the number one sensor, number two sensor. So that's the reason why we are getting three here, three here, but there's six coming. So two have to divide into two. One come here, one comes here. So we have three, three in all. Three, three in all. You can see this the red color. You can see this a black color and this whitish color. These color codes here are not up to um, manual or they're not up to OEM specifications, but from the understanding that we have here, it doesn't matter, I'll take you through, you get an idea of what I mean. This wire 
is the battery mains or let me say is is the is the positive wire and this is the earth wire or the negative or ground so this one is carrying five volts from the ecm and this one is an earth to the sensor which means the five volts is energizing the sensor before this will be the signal this is the signal wire this one will carry this one will carry the input to the ecm so it's carrying for instance if the pressure in the pump here pump pressure has come to let me say 2000 psi the sensor will sense it i'm get i'm receiving 2000 psi at the uh, drive end pump or let me say the below pump or the pump two so this will be the communicator this wire will communicate what the e sensor is saying to the ecm so the steps we are taking to rectify this defect voltage above normal for these two sensor is to first of all check the harness and how can we check the harness i have my principle of checking the harness in just let me say in just five minutes basically basically we have to check for the continuity and resistance these are the two most important factors you have to consider when you are checking for harness as i said there are three wires in here two are meeting at a junction these two are meeting at a junction it's not that what we need now all that we have to concentrate on is checking continuity from this end to the ecm and also from this end to the ecm end all right this is the ecm compartment this is the engine and pump control model engine and pump control model and these are the two connectors some of these harness carry input signal and some are output signal harness all right so i'm taking one and explain everything to you for instance you are taking this one this connector for instance you are taking this connector as um as the harness connector which are carrying or let me say they are, which are having the hydraulic pressure sensor harness or connectors coming to all right so as you can see from here they are indicated with numbers starting from number one to number 12 number 13 to number 22 number 23 to number 32 so as you can see so the, this is how you count from your right to your left so which means every wire has a wire every sorry every wire has a number which is corresponding to in the connector that will go into the ECM so how you can check the continuity we are taking one as an example please as an example for instance let's take number 13 as an example number 13 is going to pressure sensor number one that's the signal wire that's a signal wire so you put one test probe from the multimeter of the multimeter here you put one here then we put the other one to one test probe to at the number one pressure sensor connector itself so then we check we set the multimeter to the continuity mode then we check continuity other multimeters will have a beeping sound others to just display the continuity let me say range or something like that, and numbers or something like that after getting a continuity for instance you had a continuity fine after getting a continuity you switch to the resistance mode check the resistance and compare it to the oem specification to determine if the harness itself has the resistance how has the right resistance if you didn't have the continuity which will determine there's a breakage in the harness when there's breakage in the harness which means there will be no voltage supply or current supplied to the sensors so back to the sensors here as i said so connecting the test probe one end here and one end at the ecm 
connector will determine the continuity that's determined from one end to another end if, whether there's a breakage or there's no breakage that's the purpose of continuity from one end to another end that's how we check for the continuity then then after you don't take the probes you switch to the resistance we compare the resistance so we are going to do that for these one two three wires one two three wires the same procedure we are doing yeah for the students sake this is a diagram a simple diagram that i've illustrated here which is representing the harness that we are going to work on this is the sensor one this is the sensor two the signal is the one going to the ecm number 37 this is a signal this is the input signal to the ecm and this is a, a positive voltage coming to the sensor and this is the ground a very positive has a ground and the same applies to here so these are the two main source coming and by setting to two one to this place and one to this place also so this the earth wire the ground is coming from the same source to this one also yeah so this is a simple illustration that i've made